Hello, lovers of peace. <laughs> uh, BSC Peace Studies and Conflict Resolution is a four year course uh, that could be spread into eight years if you are in flexible mode by registering half of the courses every semester. Uh, minimum. Okay, so we have four GSTs here, which I would like you to know that they are compulsory. Never ignore any of them. You register them alongside any other ones you have in your portal. If you have uh, many core courses, just know that you are required to pass 23 units of them. 23 units is what is required of you from this 100 level first semester. So even though you register 24 here, uh, you are expected to earn 23. So pass 23 units. In this case, it means you have to pass all of them because there's no one unit cost here. That is, uh, you could fill and scale through. So uh, you have your fee here, three units cost 2,005, two units cost 2,000. Add that to exam fee that is 1,000 each. You get 3,500 or 3,000 depending on the units. Sum them up, you have 65,500. This is your first fee because of the compulsory fee that is 36,000. So uh, second semester 100 level, you still have two more GSTs to offer. Don't ignore them. You are expected to pass 22 units even though you have 24 but it doesn't mean you have to fill any of these GSTs never so you are expected to pass all of these two if you failed well, uh, let's say CIT it might be waived for you in the end if that's the only one you failed so your fees as well you have your two units 2000 Three units to five. Sum them up with exam fee. You get this to buy here, and you have a total of forty-eight thousand because the composite fee here is eighteen thousand, unlike the, the previous one that was thirty-six. Because of result verification and all that, and that was your first semester. Okay, then we go to uh, two hundred level first semester. You have two more GST to offer and all that courses, you register 22 for those that started from 100 level, you are expected to earn or pass 22 units of these courses. For those that entered through direct entry, you are expected to pass complete 24 units, which means you would have to add one more course from the portal from these ones here you have to add one more course that is two units or restructure them to make sure you end up to 24 units if there's no way you could add them that means in second semester you have to take one course from this first semester and add in your courses there which means no there's zero chance of failing anyone here you must pass all of this so for your fees, it's calculated the same way and it amounts to 45,000 for those that started from 100 level. 200 level, you may need to add extra 3,000 or 35 to this amount. Then second semester, here we are. You registered 20. See, there's chance, there's opportunity for you to add one more course or two here. You are expected to earn 20, pass 20 units here. 20, even though you register, you, you registered up to 21. You are carrying 21, but you are expected to earn 20. For those from direct entry, you are expected to pass 22 from here. And your fee is 44,500. Then uh, 300 level first semester, uh, these are your courses and you are expected to pass or earn 20 units, even though you carry 21. For those from direct entry, 22 is required. Your fee is 42,500. 
for those that started from 100 level. For those from the, for direct entry students, you may need extra 3,000 added to this amount. Then 300 level second semester, you are expected to pass or end 18 units, even though you registered 20. So if you had any carryover from the previous semesters or any leftover course or unregistered course, you bring them in here. You have more space here. You have 45,000 as your school fees. Then 400 level first semester, you're expected to earn 15 units. So currently this is just 15. You can see it's three. Three times five is 15. I made a mistake, I'm supposed to write 15 here. I skipped it. So for those that started from 100 level, you are supposed to pass 15 from this semester or end 15 units from this semester. If you have any other course to add, you have extra 10 or so, 9 to add. 9 actually to add here. For those from direct entry, you're expected to pass 16 units from this semester. The fee currently stands at 35500 for those that started from 100 level. Extra fee will be required for the return time. That will be adding extra costs or costs or costs. Here we go. Final semester of the course. There are four classes, which includes a project, six units. You are expected to pass 15 and you register 15 for those starting from 100 level. Then you may need to add more if you started from as a direct entry student. And the fee for those from 100 level is 43,500. Extra fee will be required for direct entry. That will be adding more costs. Or even those that started from 100 level may need to add more, you know, give them more opportunity to pass. Even if they fail one, the other one will help them. Okay, so you've carried, coming down here, you've carried, you've all registered up to 161 credit unit courses. And you are expected to pass 155 of these, which means you are only allowed to fill six units, which is like two courses out of the courses, the entire courses. You can only you can fill a maximum of two courses on all these ones you've registered. Okay, that has 33 units. For direct entry students, you're expected to earn a minimum of or pass a minimum of 130. So currently, this space here is the ones you have earned. I didn't include it. You are the one that should be doing it. How, for now, how many credits units have you passed? That's what we mean by credits end. Total credits end or credit units end. So how many have you passed out of all the ones you've registered? Currently, are they up to 155? If they are up to 155, Congratulations, you are a graduate or 130 as a direct entry student. You should expect your name in, your, in the next graduation list. That's how it works.